What's up pitchers? Coach Dan Blewett here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the glove tuck and the role that it has in throwing harder, in having repeatable mechanics, in throwing more strikes, and all that good stuff. So one of the things that I clean up a lot when you're when working with young pitchers is their glove arm because when it's sort of this like long flopping thing that sort of just like has no rhyme or reason, it just becomes really problematic. It helps, um, well, it, it, it destroys their rhythm and timing. It makes them often overly rotational. It lowers their arm slot. It can lead them down the mound where they lose power and they leak like this. So a bad glove arm is a really big problem. It's one of the first things that I improve when working with a young pitcher and most of them do need a good amount of help with it. So in today's video on pitching mechanics, let's go through what does the glove arm do and how can we improve it? Okay, so first thing to cover here is a concept that I use, which is shoulder tilt. And shoulder tilt is really important. I'm on a flat mound here. I don't have a downhill mound, but the thing to remember is that when you're pitching downhill, your shoulders have to resist the downhill slope because we know that as a pitcher, you don't land angled down like this, right? So with the mound going down at an angle, we have to resist that downward angle by tilting our shoulders up to compensate. So when we do land on the downhill slope, we still want our shoulders level. And again, to do that, we have to essentially counteract it by going uphill. So when I tell young pitchers to, you need more shoulder tilt, you need to tilt your shoulders up, this is what I mean. As you start to go down the mound, you should be going uphill with your shoulders, which means upwards shoulder tilt. That's number one. So as you start to descend down the mound and your hip starts to bump out, and your glove arm starts to go down, your shoulders should angle upward, and now you're going uphill. So upward shoulder tilt or going uphill are good ways to think about it. The next thing to think about is what direction should the glove point? The glove should not really just like shoot towards home plate. That's not really the thing to do. It's, it looks very unathletic, and it doesn't really help you stay closed or really stay in rhythm. Because a, a lot of the things with the arms and legs and the pitching motion, especially the early part, before you land, are timing mechanisms. So your leg kick in your hands, they have a, a natural rhythm. They always tend to go together at the same pace. They tend to, to move up and they tend to break down at the same pace. The glove arms role is it needs to sort of go out and around and land in somewhat of an upward position when we when our dried foot finally hits the ground. So there isn't like an exact position that it needs to be in. You'll see some MLB pitchers have their glove arm a little bit lower than others. Some guys are a little bit farther up here. There isn't like an exact thing where it's like, if, you, if your glove's like this when you land, you're only gonna throw 90, you'll never throw 94. That's not really the case. Or if your glove arm's here when you land, you know, you're gonna lose. What really matters is where your chest is. So when you do land in the pitching delivery, your chest should still be angled slightly back when that front foot hits. So when I'm here, my glove arm is probably gonna be up, but if it's a little bit down or if it's a little bit higher than some other guys, that's probably not the biggest thing. What matters next is where does your glove go? How does it tuck, all that stuff. So the big thing here is with your glove arm action, you typically don't want it breaking out and around because it gets to the top and then it's, it's done and it falls down before we land. And if our glove arm starts to fall down before we land, it typically takes our chest with it. And now we've opened up too soon, we're losing power, we're pushing the ball, all that really bad stuff. So in your pitching mechanics, your glove arm needs to time up with your stride leg so that when you finally go, these two, this is hitting its essentially its high point when my stride foot hits. That's the key thing. And for most pitchers, what I found for them to make that timing thing work is that their hands will come down and then they'll have sort of like even two like even parts where their glove goes up and it also goes out. So it's kind of a mixture of both where they're rising together, not like strictly sideways and also not strictly up and down. And again, this is highly variable because you'll see major league pitchers who are here and then they're like, boom, arm out and around and they go. But these are also some of the best athletes in the world and their body just figures out how to be on time doing different stuff. So you could take 10 different pitchers and you'd see they're all like doing kind of the same thing, but also there's gonna be differences. 
and the big thing for them is that when they do land, they're mostly in this same position here. So that's something to consider. Once you have landed, most pitchers do the same thing, which is their glove arm starts to rotate under, so their palm is now facing the home, you know, home plate, and their elbow falls down where their upper arm is vertical to their body. So you don't see big league pitchers with their arms way out here. And that's what you see with a lot of young players. They're just flailing and they have this long arm dragging them off target essentially. And it makes them very rotational and they lose the shoulder tilt that they need to be on top of the ball. You can't be like spinning here and also get on the ball on top of the ball at the same time. So one of the roles the glove arm has is when I hit, I'm moving my chest towards my glove arm, but my glove arm's also crunching down and kind of helping me produce shoulder tilt, which helps me get on top of the ball. This is where my arm, my arm action and my arm slot are gonna be most, boom, downhill, and I'm gonna get on top of my breaking stuff, my changeup, my fastball, and everything's gonna be more crisp. You never really wanna be slinging the ball that much. And of course, some pitchers throw more sidearm, and that's fine. But in general, you wanna allow your glove arm to help you get on top of the ball and get downhill. So the big rules for the glove arm, and again, you're not like actually pulling your glove towards your body. Your chest is moving towards your glove as it's falling down into place and helping to create shoulder tilt. That's pretty much what happens. So the rules are, if your arm wants to fall down and be kind of long, that's okay as long as it's pretty much vertical with your body and, and relatively compact. If it tucks in kind of like this, that's what most pitchers do because it seems to help you stay a little more on target. The longer your arm is, the more it can kind of make your movements kind of wobbly. The other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to have your glove essentially stuck in front of you and block you. You'll see this with infielders when they're running and they're making a throw on the run, their glove arm will stay in front of their body because it doesn't have anywhere to go in that particular play. When you watch infielders throw and they have time, their glove arm circles and it gets to the side of their body and it falls long. With, a, you know, with a, a pitcher, we don't want the glove arm stuck here because now we're not really getting ourselves through and we're not using it to create shoulder tilt and we're not using it to get farther out in front. So our glove arm kind of blocks us from moving as rotationally as we need to and from getting our chest out in front as far as we need to. So your, your glove arm should not stay here. It should not be between your legs. It should get completely clear of your body so now I can rotate all the way through and finish my pitch. So that's the long and the short of it. The glove arm is a really important part of the delivery. It's one of the biggest problems I see with young pitchers where they just have lots of extra movement. They're not on good timing because of their glove action. They block themselves or they swing themselves off target. They're, they don't have enough shoulder tilt, whatever it is. There's lots of problems that originate from the glove arm action. So hopefully this video helped you. Get some slow motion video, get out with a tripod or your mom and dad, um, get some video and look at it and watch this video again and say, okay, what of these problems do I think I have? What can we work on? What can we clean up? And that's how you make progress, all right? If you need more help with your pitching mechanics, in the video description below, you'll find links to my book. I have a pitching book called Pitching Isn't Complicated. I have my memoir called Dear Baseball Gods. I also have my podcasts and I have online pitching courses that help you analyze your own mechanics and assign the right drills for each of them. Thanks for watching. I'm Coach Dan Blewett. I'll see you in the next video.